Assalamu alaikum and good morning, Sir Adam. And then of Allah, the most sublime, the most prime. And welcome all to this debate session from the side of University of Spoken East and Computer Science, Peshawar, Pakistan. I'm Hamid Ibrahim, one of the EFL instructors here at the University of Spoken and Computer Science. And we are highly obliged to the senior management of USECS for arranging this debate, discourse, and competition at the moment and the presence of sublime and prime guests by the name respected Sir Adam Groth from US. Currently, he has done his postgraduate and we are highly obliged for his time. And at the moment, he's a doctor applicant at Leiden University, Netherlands. And uh, we are highly obliged, respected Sir Adam, for joining us. You know, your knowledge, your words are like seeds. When these seeds are going to fall on fertile soils, a reflection of those seeds is going to fluctuate and change into something very greater. And your knowledge, your excellency, your power, and your skills are high, always required and welcomed by everywhere. And we are highly obliged, sir. Thank you so much. And um, thank you. It's my pleasure to be here. Uh, as you mentioned, Hamid, in that excellent introduction, my name is Adam Grode. I'm a recent graduate from the University of Pennsylvania here in Philadelphia. Um, I am currently an applicant to Leiden University for my doctoral studies, and I focus mainly on the history, art, and music of the Silk Road. So that of Peshawar definitely falls within the spectrum of Gandharian and Bactrian and lots of uh, amazing artwork from, from that region. So it is my honor to be here today and hopefully serve with utmost um, judicial prudence in this ongoing debate regarding the pros and cons of technology. So without further ado, Hamid, uh, if you would like to introduce both sides of today's result, and we can get started with today's concourse. <laughs> All right, thank you so much, sir. And uh, one thing I would like to mention, the motion for today's debate is pros and cons of technology. Well, there are lots of questions and queries uh, that whether uh, is it beneficial for us or not beneficial? Is technology a curious mixture of good or bad thing? There are lots of questions and there are lots of queries. Today we are going to resolve and discuss in this panel discussion. So first of all, we are having four candidates, sir. So two candidates will be talking on pros of technology and two candidates will be talking on cons of technology. So those and, who are uh, going to e evolve... Uh, uh, one, each side will have five minutes to prevent to present each section is this correct the timing definitely of the debate. okay the timing definitely and uh, those who are going to evaluate and brief on pros of technology uh, mr waqar is, uh, is speaking from hyderabad and mr adnan ali is speaking from peshawar they are going to talk on pros of technology and mr fahatullah who's speaking from saudi arabia he will be speaking on cons of technology and his team work and his team partner is Mr. Sefula speaking from Mardan, uh, which is belonging to Pakistan. And uh, what do you say, sir? Should we take a start or should we go for anything interesting before starting? Um, well, I, I would like to know who is going to be starting today's debate. So I think Mr. Waqar. Waqar, so he is on the pro side. Now, I do have a coin right here, so let's just be fair and honest. And I'm going to toss this coin in the air, and you can either call heads or tails, and we will see which side actually will go first. We'll leave it to chance, everybody, okay? So, okay. what got? Heads or tails? Head. And it is heads. Wow. You got okay. it. Okay. <laughs> So, oh, yeah, so, so I, I'd him. like to clap for you. Okay, you. congratulations, Mr. Okal, that you won Thank the toss, you. right? So, you are going to take a start on pros of technology. So, you, sir. sir Adam, so should we start? Yes, and Wakar, you now have five minutes. The floor is okay. yours. Okay, sir. Thank you so much, sir, for giving me a chance. Myself, Wakar Fakir Mohammed, speaking from Hyderabad in Pakistan. My academic qualification is master's in English, and I'm taking classes from virtual classes from University of Spoken English and Computer Science Peshawar. I'm very grateful to them, and this institute is very grooming institution for the students, and they have given me a good chance to 
express my perspective regarding technology and i am taking lots of technology advantages so i am in favor of technology first of all what is technology technology is a human innovation in action that involves the generation of knowledge and process to develop system that solve problems and extend human capabilities the word technology is taken from greek word techno and logia techno means art craft and skills and logia means study that describes a study of art skills and craft so that is very helpful for us and we people are using lots of technology in our daily lives without technology it is very hard to survive in this world you know after the day every night come and we can't see each other without this technology through the help of light we can watch each other and move from one place to another place and we are just controlling heat with the help of fan this is also kind of technology so there are lots of uh, advantages and there are lots of tools in shape of technology but uh, i can't uh, explain here because i don't have much time so i am just connecting this technology with the education system as being a student the kind of uh, advantages i am taking so i am we people are using internet computer and uh, facebook youtube but we are we are unaware the advantages of it the computer has introduced by a person charles babbage to solve our much problems in few minutes to save our time in 19th century but later on uh, internet has introduced in 20th century to connect our network system that we can share our data from one place to another place without wasting our time without moving over there and later on in 21st century the era we are living and uh, we are using the gadgets so i am just explaining you the advantages of facebook in 2004 mark zuckerberg has introduced the facebook tool to communicate to connect with each other like we if we are living far away from our home and if we can take want to take advantages from other places and such any other place to communicate our relatives friends or teachers we can connect with them very easily so that tool is helpful for us but recently we are using youtube which has introduced in 2005 that is our biggest teacher and if our your biggest teacher in your pocket you can get lots of advantages with the help of that even uh, i have good got good teachers but i can't ask them a single thing again and again but through the youtube if i will ask youtube that again and again youtube will not getting bored so these two us are completely helpful for us regarding every perspective and recently we have uh, an applications or tools or gadgets that we can communicate with each other like like take live classes i belong to a little city of sin but i am taking classes from peshawar just because of these technologies so i am very grateful to you sir giving me a chance to express my perception further my dear adnan will tell you some more benefits of technology thank you thank you Thank you. Mm. I'm, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm Adnan Ali. I'm a screen, speaking from Peshawar. Qualification is my B and LLB, and my profession is a, I am a lawyer. And in order to enhance my English abilities, in I'm taking virtual classes with University of Spoken English. nowadays today our topic is the advantages and disadvantages of uh, technology my brother wakar from hyderabad he explained very well but he mentioned two things one is about the information access to information and other is communication means so first i want to talk about the access of information i will say one can easily access to information nowadays like 100 and 200 years ago to there was it was not so easy for us but now it is easy everything is available on the www which is abbreviation of world wide web even we can search documents newspapers ebooks and a lot of things on net and we can easily read these articles these uh, newspaper or ebooks 
while sitting in bed or couch and with a cup of coffee or tea. We can watch online documentaries also. Yes, sir. <clears throat> exactly. That's what I'm saying. We can watch online documentaries thanks to these Dell, Apple, and Microsoft companies. Everything is on our fingertips nowadays. We can watch documentaries on television also, like National Geography Channel, and watch and get religious information. I'm talking about here the Muslim <coughs> religion, like QTV. These TV uh, television replaced radios, which were a um, uh, main source of uh, information 50 years ago, but now it, they are completely replaced by the television. And even now, televisions are uh, re uh, replaced by LCD and LEDs. Then my Bakar brother talk about the communication means I want to add a little bit about it. Modern technology is replaced the old method of writing letters. Like hundred years ago, people love to uh, people like to send letters and communicate through the letters, which was so common at that time. But now one no one even think about sending letters. Everyone. People will definitely prefer to do audio calls, video calls, or send emails by most by different uh, means. Instant message and sharing photos were not so easy. Chatting apps like WhatsApp, Facebook Messenger, Snapchat, etc., are norm now, which eliminates the possibility of an error happening in the transmission. So, with the information and with the communication uh, developing. There is one question also arises about the privacy uh, matter. Some people think that the, there is a pri uh, privacy issues also. With the increase of access of uh, information, question to privacy uh, definitely arises, no doubt. And uh, there is a right of privacy, Article 12 in Universal Declaration of Human Rights, also mentioned in. in you know, uh, in American Convention of Human Rights, the Article 11 and European Convention of Human Rights, Article 8, talks about right to privacy. But they are just talk about the privacy, not about the uh, this digital privacy. So, in 2015, right to privacy in digital age was passed by United Nations Human Rights Council. Similarly, at regional level, the Council of Europe, Convention 108 has passed convention for the protection of individuals with regard to automatic processing of data. Between 2011, 2012 to 2016, 20 UNESCO member states, nine in Africa, four in Asia and Pacific, three in Latin America and Caribbean, two in our region, one in Western Europe and North America have adopted data protection laws. So if there is any kind of problem arises in this uh, privacy issue. We have laws, we have conventions, not only international level, but, but the regional level, like American and European conventions. So we can sue such kind of person and, and take action against such person. Thank you. I think that's at the moment. That's all at the moment. Excellent. Thank you very much. And uh, I Perhaps we will do the two introductions and then the cross-examination, or Fahad Ustad, how would you like to continue? Assalamu alaikum and uh, good afternoon to everyone. Uh, thank you very much for having me in this uh, debate. Today have, uh, we have some uh, interesting debate that uh, we have noticed some interesting things being said from the opposite side. Uh, but I am totally uh, have different opinion in this topic that uh, uh, this technology is having some serious consequences in our, in our children's life. Uh, I will uh, draw Mr. Adam uh, attention towards the report published by uh, World Health Organization in 2016 that 81% of the young kids from the age of 11 till 17 is uh, it's not physically fit because of those gadgets. Because the more they are using those gadgets, the less they are going outside for the activities and doing the, some activities. Because in 2017, those uh, the the young kids were having 42 percent of uh, mobile phone, but right now in 2020, it's increased to 60 percent of kids. With they are using their more time in front of those screens and less time they are going outside and sp uh, doing exercise and burning those calories. For the time being, with the passage of time, those uh, activity uh, those uh, less going outside bring them obesity and weight gain. The second point in my list is uh, over reliance. Nowadays. All the people are using those gadgets. Uh, we are over reliance on those uh, gadgets because we are 
saving our context, our information, our data, our text, everything in this phone. If this gadget can become faulty or out of the power or uh, it's been stolen from us, so we will be in trouble at that time. Also, we are over. Also, we are extremely dependent on those uh, gadgets. We are using those gadgets. Our kids are using this gadget. For instance, our kids is going directly to the internet and copying material from there and pasting in their homework without learning anything. They are just copying from there and giving and submitting in their school. Also, the second a second example like uh, now nowadays, many people are not, uh, are not do not bother learning and memorizing locations because there is GPS. They are depending on those GPS. If there's something happened to their uh, phone, the gadgets, it will be out of mind. They cannot know anything around, and that will be. Uh, well, the second thing is uh, complexity. These devices or those gadgets are not that much easy that it's understand uh, everybody, because the common people cannot understand. There are smart homes, smart cars, smart machinery. That's not easy for the common men to uh, use it and uh, bring in these uh, uh, activities. The Third thing is uh, longevity. Typically, the digital devices have less uh, lifespan. It's become quickly uh, older. It may, might be uh, looking slow, or it will be not compatible with the other devices, or it will be not compatible with the new version. So it's becoming uh, very slow, uh, very um, it's have very short uh, lifespan of this. Also, also the, uh, there is expensive issue. Technology is not that something that anybody can use it and. Uh, and their life because uh, many uh, uh, gadgets which is using an organization are more expensive so one of the biggest cons of technology because technology can be used by those who can only afford it also technology also we are suffering from insecurity uh, this it used to be that you had to go to the workplace and do your work from there but nowadays many people working remotely via internet from uh, like freelancers so it's mean from third world low economy wages can undercut your job and take your job and they can uh, cut your job also the free lines uh, also the uh, robot uh, technology is replacing by report and uh, humans uh, also replacing by machines so this is also a job insecurity due to this uh, technology also there is a uh, work workload <clears throat> because nowadays the modern worker will come up with a hundred of emails and daily and he is an easy access to their management. They can keep them engaged all the time for their work. Doesn't matter if it's eight hours work and 10, 10 hours work, but they will keep them uh, um, busy all the time for the organization or for the individual. <clears throat> there is also data security issue in the internet as in Wikipedia mentioned clearly in Wikipedia uh, and also mentioned there's a uh, Michael Hill um, from the University of Surrey of UK. Uh, they also mentioned there the, the the and these with those gadgets, it is very difficult to keep your data safe and secure because a single mistake can bring your data to the hands of criminals, to the hands of your rivals, to the malign entities, to anyone. Also, this uh, uh, technology is providing a platform for terrorism and uh, uh, crime because many terrorists are using their uh, pro their motto, they are using social media to promoting themselves in other places to grooming potential victims and sharing video audio over there which is clearly mentioned in the wikipedia over there also the last thing i will conclude the bottom line is this technology invent nuclear weapon which is enough for the for to demolish this world multiple time and we are living with this fear all the time just and from my side bismillah oh, rahman rahim uh, yeah proceed mr sefullah uh, this is me, Saifullah Noor, speaking from Mardan, Pakistan. Uh, I'm a student at BC Chemistry at University of Manhattan. Uh, I would like to extend my thanks to the uh, University of Spoken Language, management of University of Spoken Language, to give me opportunity to explain my views regarding uh, the cones of technology and also to Sir Adam, he's here with us. Uh, let me start. What is technology? The second name of technology is an event. Uh, people are believing that technology is facilitating us at every single war. People are believing that technology make our life easy without any barrier. 
But let, let me clarify you all that the same technology is too much powerful that they can destroy our life. We are living in that. Uh, let me take an example of digital generation. If we take the example of digital generation, so our youth, our youngsters are totally addicted with technology and they are unable to experience their life, their real life based to pain direction and they are spending uh, about 18 or 16 hours with mobile phone and this is leading to the loneliness and psychological problem to their mind let me take one example from the uh, rather rather university uh, national marriage project that this technology has decreased they has increased the rate of divorce in a society has the, increased the rate of suicide in a society uh, american divorce rate is more than uh, twice that in 1980 and it is increasing day by day with the development of technology when technology is developed so the rate of divorce is increased if you take example of canada canada is a developed country and we are seeing there is 70 37 percent marriage are ending with divorce if we are coming to the uh, muslim country so muslim countries have also the same rate and they are also their life their 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 marriage is also ending with the wood. If we take example of Pakistan, so four of thousand of people in their life, in their marriage ceremony with the wood. If we take example of Jordan, so 2.2 percent of over of thousand they are in their uh, marriage with the wood. Let me relate the same thing with education. We are saying that we are living in the age of information. We are saying that we are living in the age of internet. But let me clarify you all that this internet we are living in has make our life facilitate, but at the same time it destruct our life. The first thing that that no not everyone is visible, not everyone can access to internet. From the report of Business Administration and from the report of the New New York Magazine, that is stated that. Uh, 87 percent people are have access in america to internet and it is a developed country if we are coming to the developing country like uh, like pakistan india so india has only 20 percent access to internet and pakistan has only eight percent access to internet as same like bangladesh has only 10 percent to access to internet and the rest of people are unable to access to internet if we relate the same thing with our education system as my friend mentioned that online education is helping and we are able to explore education but this education is worthwhile let me take one example from john john preston southern university he is a professional and he uh, published an article in 2013 it stated that education doesn't mean the transformation of knowledge it stated that education doesn't mean the transformation only the transformation of uh, information. It means education to prepare a person, to prepare an individual for the war of life, that how to fight the war of life. Education means to prepare a person with their skill. Education means to develop their skill and to make them for the life, that how to spend their life. If how we get experimental education through online online system let me take the example of society as from who report what health organization state that society rate is increasing with the increase and development of technology we are getting a two uh, we are getting the example of 2020 so we are seeing that it state that 1.54 million people will suicide due to the development of technology or due to the addiction of technology our youth is totally addicted with this technology the same thing that I want to mention here is malfunction in technology. Sometimes we are seeing that we are unable to work with our technology. A lot of people has the same technology. A lot of people has excess technology. Eight percent people are there that are they are unable to promote their technology, to work on their technology, and dependent on other people. As from the report of Pew Research Center in. Uh, in American Life Project. 48 people, percent people are unable to work on their uh, on their gadgets, on work their uh, on mobile phone, or work their uh, on uh, or work uh, their on uh, laptop, or work their on their mobile phone, etc. 44 percent of internet people have internet in their home, but they are unable to access it. A lot of people have cell phone, but they are unable to use it. 39 percent of the disturbed or laptop people they are facing the same problem when they have a little problem occur, so they are unable to recover this problem and they are losing his whole data within a minute. So this was my notion. If you have any point, I would like to hear. 
Excellent. And Hamid Ustad, that was very well done on all behalfs of the both sides of the argument. Um, would you feel that it is appropriate for them to do cross-examination at this point? Or how would you like the next stage to continue? Well, sir, the way they have presented their perspective and notion, and besides that, they have also cited sources. And all the things that I hope you all have noticed, not and we are going to brief on that. And uh, should we go for the cross examination? Then at the end, we should go, uh, and at the end, we'll go for cross examination. At the moment, what do you suggest? Should we go for the cross? Let them go for cross examination. Uh, would it be suitable? Well, yeah, I think uh, if we, we could do uh, one section, one person per each side could do cross examination, one person can answer, and then for the other yeah. side, uh, and then some closing remarks. And perhaps at the end, I will point out some of the uh, better made points and some of the, the points that I may <laughs> have uh, questions about myself. Uh, so yeah. without revealing too much of my, my judgment, why don't we continue with the cross-examination portion? That would be very nice. So uh, I would like Mr. Fa so let's start with the pros then. What do you say, sir? Let's start with Mr. Waqan. So what do you say? Have you noticed something from Mr. Fahad's perspective and as well as Mr. Sefullah's? So you may go for cross-examination at the moment. Yes, sir. I have noticed about uh, Mr. Fahad just uh, explain about the children that is very harmful for children but uh, you know all the things we if we use uh, out of limits are overused that is harmful for us even we can't sleep whole day we can't sleep whole night if we sleep more than time that is harmful for us and uh, steve job who has introduced uh, iphone i apple company's ceo he just explained in an interview that he won't allow their children about the use of these te technologies out of limits. So before giving their children these, upper, these kind of gadgets, we must have to know the limits of these things. And uh, like uh, our, my brother Sefulanu asked, uh, explained about the problem regarding education that this is the transformation tool. So a uh, philosopher, Alama Iqbal, whom we follow, he just explained that teacher is one who give you thirst of knowledge. Okay, if a teacher give thirst of knowledge to a child, a child don't, doesn't need to do any kind of thing or waste their time. He can get lots of advantages with the help of this technology. If they are not uh, using this properly because they are unaware, so we have to guide them first and then they will take lots of advantages as we are taking here. Okay, and yes, would, Mr. Uh, uh, would you like to respond to the yeah, question? Sure yeah, he's telling that it, uh, it, it depends on their use, but technologies provide yeah. a vast amount of uh, facilities. So we, our kids are using this one uh, massively. Also, there's a report from the World Health Organization that due to this technology, use of this technology, it's 81% it's, uh, of the people now, they have physically physically issues. Physically, they, are obes they have obesity, they, have, uh, they are not sleeping well due to this uh, technology because they are addicted to this technology, playing, uh, gaming, and so many things. So this is the main reason because you cannot protect yourself. Okay, brother, I'm agree with you. But listen, uh, if we are giving, uh, providing our children this kind of technology, and we are not just uh, look, looking after them, and we are not giving them uh, time to just take these kind of things. Before we have to giving them these kind of gadgets, we must have to let them know about the usage of these gadgets. If we make them know about the how you will, of, how you will teach how you will teach a baby who is the age of. Say as uh, three years, how you will teach him? Okay. Because he will try okay. to give me this uh, okay. gadgets. Then okay, he will think white. Because okay. I have kids, I know. Yeah, if you give them these kind of gadgets and uh, you can provide them uh, education uh, material, and they will know like uh, surah, uh, our, our so holy surahs, etc. Okay, like knots, like in shape. Of still, it is it is not good for the uh, for the kids because the but radiation then, is not good for them. You the know, screen is not good for the kids. You, whatever you are learning, you are learning uh, education or anything, but the screen is itself is not good for them. 
they depend on us if we give, give them you know we have a knife in our home and we are just uh, making a space uh, from the children and children are want uh, knife in see, their hand ever you hear that children is trying to to hold the knife because they are uh, they are but they are trying for some interesting things because we know that is harmful for them and we are just uh, putting them in a space to children okay and we are giving them mobile ourselves because we are using all the time so t uh, our children want these kind of gadgets if we read all the time books our children want books if we read all the time if we play game with the balls our children want balls to play because they are following us and we are using all the time mobile they are following just us this so is not their problem. That, means that, that, that clearly means you are, you are talking that we have to let the mobile. If we are not using, our kid will not use it. So what is the benefit yeah. of technology then? If we, are we have to let technology. We have to, we we are, to throw out this technology from our if, side so our kid will okay. be safe. You mean that? If we, are using, if we are using in limits, that will help for our children. Even I have uh, my children in my home and they are using mobiles sometime for an hour and listening lectures of a boy, little boy in Pakistan. Uh, with name Hamad Safi, and I'm providing him, them the lectures, and they are just getting information, and they are increasing their confidence just because of this mobile. I because will give I'm, you, uh, yes, uh, yes, uh, yes, a survey yes. shared by Common Sense Media in 2017 that in 2017 that 42% of kids, young kids, they have their own tablets, own mobiles, own gadgets, and it was 11, it was 5% in 2013, and it was. It was just one person, less than one person in 2011. So means those things are coming in our hands and this directly going to our kids' hands and they're using that. And due to that, the World Health Organization published this report that 81% of the kids are not healthy and not physically active. My brother, I mentioned and, that. And I, uh, we're going to have to conclude on that. That concludes five minutes. That was a good final retort from Pahat. And now I would like to hear from Sefula and Adan, please. Okay, sir. Sure. Sir, first they mentioned about technology in health sector that they, it is damaging our youth. But there are a lot of other things that technology did in the health sector. Like health sector also improved a lot from technology that, in, that incurable diseases like cancer has a proper cure now. There are also... Hold on one second. Uh, your partner was Wakar. Um, yes. So I will have to say Fula begins the cross-examination on this okay, portion, please. Sir, uh, I, want, uh, I want to acknowledge Mr. Fakar with who he asked one question of me that uh, a teacher is there to instruct the student and uh, uh, through online education we are able to. So how we were able to get experimental education like I'm student of chemistry. So my practical skill is more important than my theoretical skill and I need a lab. I work in a lab so then I will be better able. And how a pharmacy student will be able to get online education? Wow. Yes, that is the point. Yes. But would you, you know, we can... Anand, would you like to respond? Sir, he asked from Bakar. Oh, um, very well, Bakar. OK. Sir, we can take help with the help of these uh, gadgets, OK? If I don't know anything, uh, any practical work, like uh, you can search just driving. Driving is completely practi practical work. But if you search on YouTube that how to drive a car, they will just provide you each and every step how to drive. So if you are uh, saying that lab, ETC, OK, we have made these kind of things in our home, in our, uh, uh, what can I say? in our lab, uh, labs, but we can take help from the internet, from the different resources, okay? If a teacher can't make, um, make us understand, and if we don't have much time to get knowledge and ask other teachers, we can just put their, their thing on the YouTube and uh, search uh, the uh, solution of that problem. And we can do ourselves practical because uh, there are some things without practical, we can't uh, even do anything. Like if we are speaking English, that is need of practice. If we don't practice of it, we can't speak well. For that, we have to just listen. We have to just take advantages from uh, help of uh, YouTube and we have to improve ourselves. We have to work hard for that. 
sir i don't want to cross examine or ask any question but i want just reply a few things sure they talk about nuclear weapons health uh, health and navigation system about health there are also reports which do uh, surgeries nowadays even broken bones can be replaced by the rods and plates these are the thing which uh, technology because of technology we improve our health sector nowadays there are artificial joints which there was no cure of broken joints in past there are artificial organs like legs arms heart and uh, even disabled people are not disabled anymore there are eeg ecg uh, eco there are these are the machines through which we can see and un- uh, those um, uh, uh, diseases which are un- invisible then my brother fatullah talk about the navigation system that we are that uh, we can we use navigation system we can't memorize the the ways or the areas so if one is a businessman and he go travels all around the world how can he uh, remember the all these ways we face navigation problems everywhere when we are unfamiliar in the town city or country we can search particular place in devices like mobile and tablets it won't let us miss a uh, single turn even if they show us a traffic situation on the uh, on the navigation say a part of that we can also save our time by ordering food online even people can uh, do office work from home even in this pandemic situation you know that this was so difficult for the people to go out outside uh, and do the office works through this online system and through this technology uh, we the offices were function from the home in past companies place hard copies for order for their advertisement uh, but now they post uh, the uh, online such orders and such advertisement they which can save time and money and in the and, and he, he said you can uh, people can use your data like hackers can use your data mm-hmm. i want to say that the hackers can use it as i already mentioned about uh, the right of privacy of the regional and international level so if one can sue uh, one can use your data you can sue it there are cyber laws there are cyber crime crimes laws in every country in the end uh, the talk out about nuclear weapons nuclear weapons i want to say that the because of the nuclear weapons uh, who who can dare to attack usa nobody can dare to attack usa nobody can attack on the uh, russia nobody can attack on china nobody can attack india pakistan england france these all things so and there are a lot of other things which we in military technology before people used horses and uh, camels and elephants for war but now they are using uh, but then they are start using man manned vehicles and now the air is changed from manned vehicles to unmanned vehicles okay sir unmanned vehicles now the, there is a era of drone and helicopters there are categories of war like cyber war there are categories of war like fifth fourth generation war fifth generation war this all happened because of the uh, uh, this military technology even the us and france uh, announced their in uh, space force and also the china is going uh, is trying to make a station on the moon thank you sir okay very good i uh, uh cross examinations here uh, i think that if we should just conclude today's debate with some final uh replies one person per team to just wrap up their final statements uh we heard a lot of points on both sides but let's just hear the the, the most important points given the cross examination and what was challenged and what was accepted on both parties um one person on each side please uh within 5 minutes perhaps 3 minutes 5 minutes uh just give your final closing remarks and then uh Hamid Ustad and I will provide our uh conclusions okay i'll start i will yes, first, first one two minute i will just uh, try to answer them and then i will conclude it uh, mr anand is related related technology with the health because technology made our health uh, in danger because technology is uh, affected that ozone r- r- layer which is the layers is directly coming to the earth and they that made um, many kind of uh, diseases in the humans 
the other thing that technology make uh, original you know, the um, the natural food food from away from our lives the orga- they introduce the organic food uh, the organic food are removed and they are, uh, imp- uh, introduce the artificial food to our life which causing the more more diseases the other thing he is uh, asking online shopping the recently one survey from the hong kong police they in, they they called to the uh, their citizen you should not go online shopping because there is there is a fraud all the time you will order something and you will receive something else so they just restricted that your the people of hong kong that you should go directly to the shop and you do their that uh, online sh- uh, shopping in practically physically also the hacking there is there is there will be some protection for hacking to protect yourself but still yes a free us days bill get was the the richest man in the world but his account twitter account was hacked he has all kind of facility but still there is a place to your you will account will be hacked your bank accounts will be hacked you will be many many things you, you will face but that one you have an a place to sue the people and uh, but you uh, can this, 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 closing, this, this closing remarks no cross examination just final remarks please okay sir is, is, is it not accessible for a common people to go and aware this uh, to hint this uh, kind of uh, um, security and us system to protect yourself from the from those things the final thing is technology is make is make us very idle we are all the time sitting in a home and just using this uh, technology less time we are going out to do our uh, activities or running or burning and uh, burning our calorie uh, calories which make us obesity and more uh, um, more uh, healthy the the, the thing is there is plagiarism uh, plagiarism and data manipulation um, and the internet which is difficult for the common man to go to internet and find out the the actual things because the actual uh, because many many kind of uh, uh, things which is available in the internet it's uh, adopted and claimed by someone else so no one know who is the actual creator of the data this end from my side all right and for the pro side one person please provide closing remarks they are deciding please. you know <laughs> okay sir the first thing he talk about improve farming that the, we have not uh, actual food we are we are using the uh, uh, because of the technology i want to say that there are benefits in farming like higher crop productivity decrease use of water fertilizer and pesticide which in turn keeps food prices down so that's first thing i want to say this second he, he said that we are lazy but we have easy uh, mobility we can go f- Uh, in a car or bike from one place to another and as before i mentioned that distance between you can you say is 15187 km which we can cover in 16 hours distance between pakistan and uk is 6000 plus km which we can do in 8 km distance between london to paris is 5 km which ordinary tra- train takes 5 hours but the tgv trains Uh, the fastest one of the fastest train in the world it takes 2 hour 15 minutes and if you want to go by foot then it will take 57 hours from paris to london uh, and we can go for the the airplane which in past which was in past and he used to travel it used to travel 3 hours and 30 minutes from uk to uh, new york but but uh, and uh, last thing i want to say that as we talk about the laziness so, so i talk, mentioned another thing is uh, our system is um, uh, is improving two days ago no, no one thought about online banking system nowadays people can pay their utility bill through banking apps but also check their bank accounts details and tr- fund transfer check balance inquiry file loan application from these even the we have uh, we want online games also provide online banking uh, services for their customers to purchase item for their games and the di- digital currencies like bitcoin litecoin libra initiative queues are replacing the these things uh, the uh, original currencies nowadays in 2030 the price of one bitcoin did would be more than yes sir excuse me did you say online uh, banking gaming or dating just now 
banking sir on online digital currencies and now i'm talking about online digital currencies like digital bitcoin curve. currency yes. litecoin libra initiative there are a lot of but i am i mentioned just four because i'm using these four as a replacing okay. the famous currency the dollar pound euro even the price of one bitcoin is higher than the price of a uh, dollar and uh, pound and uh, euro in 2030 the price of one bitcoin would be more than 50 million of pakistani rupees with these apps and you basically and only at national but also at international levels thank you sir all right well i think this debate went very very well uh and everyone should be very proud of the uh respectful discourse that occurred today uh most importantly whenever we have these debates it is always uh the most uh american of the dem democratic views that we are free to have this sort of debate uh and that of course is always the most important thing that everyone is here and respectfully presents their opinions uh presents their facts and that we are uh, uh in a very responsible and, and controlled manner uh are able to discuss very important topics in today's world so uh that being said uh hamid ustad would you first like to present some of your uh thoughts on uh who may have had the better points uh and your overall opinion of today's debate thank you so much sir like the facts and figures were briefly explained and uh i must say i would like to say a very brilliant what you all have done but all of them have explained in a very lovely and smooth and sober ways but i i cannot choose one of them that you have defined or you have defined very well you know then it's went kind of dispute among each other uh, but the aim is uh, discourse was clash with each other but this uh, discourse was to put all the perspectives and see thinking regarding this technology and besides that at the moments like uh, somebody has mentioned about uh, about national tv ds hp apple all these things that you have said about the bill gates all of them have developed and invented something uh, new and empowered the world and obviously mr fahatullah talked about that you are dependent to this technology well you are saying yes so maybe it's true if you are saying no maybe it's not true then and of course i am dependent for example i want to talk to respect to sir adam so of course i am dependent on this technology but if i say yes no i am not dependent to technology so how would i find how would i learn lots of things from respect to sir adam so in the uh, same case at the moment it's a catch 22 as we like to say <laughs> yeah it's it's something like catch 22 yes and uh, furthermore like um, a thing noticed by mr sefula about the divorce cases it's a bit perplex for me that uh, how this technology relate to this thing it's a bit um, uh, perplex for me and the same case mr sefula talked about the data security by michael hill and the uh, city university in england that she had uh, reported that yes and the technology are lots of data security problems and as has mentioned by mr Uh, Mr. Fahad also that the account of Mr. Bilgeis was hacked. You know these are the things. You know those who are inventing something they do not invent for the bad things. Obviously they are inventing something for the good things. Then furthermore, but yes, people are not dependent on technology. But yes, technology is dependent on people. That how are they utilizing? At the moment, you know there are lots of students. who are not enrolling themselves in virtual classes even though they have just wasted and kicked out their three or more than couple of months by staying at home while being busy in those things which are not that much vital for us so but those who have got the benefited and who got the benignance regarding the, uh, this technology they are willing that you people have enrolled yourself with us with this spoken university and you are enroll you are learning and enhancing your spoken english and the furthermore sir, furthermore i don't want to say anything else now i would like uh, respect sir adam to say something then at the end we will decide how to put a closing uh, remarks 
Well, I mean, Ustad, I'm going to have to agree with you that it's a very difficult um, uh, uh, resolve to say one way or the other, uh, whether the pros outweigh the cons or the cons outweigh the pros. Um, some of the points that I saw that I would just like to briefly touch upon before I present my own opinion on this matter um, was that in, uh, I think it was Wakar's opening remarks, you know, he mentioned the beginning of the computer and digital age, uh, 19th and 20th, 21st century, uh, and then the lack of communication with platforms such as uh, YouTube. However, with uh, we are on StreamYard right now, that we had Skype earlier, there is Zoom. Mm -hmm. uh, with the negative effects of the coronavirus, we have found that the world now is even more connected than ever before. Yeah. And that we are finding ways to improvise and use technology to our benefit. Uh, yes, sometimes with Zoom meetings, people crash the Zoom meetings or they're disrupted in some way. And so there's always these little hiccups along the way, stepping stones, <laughs> if you will. Um, uh, on the, what was it, Adan, when you mentioned uh, that, you know, with access to information, uh, issues of privacy. Um, you know, these are very good points, but th you, you mentioned that no one sends letters, physical letters anymore. And that mm. is absolutely um, something that can never, ever stop uh, occurring, whether they're letters or they're goods. We touched on uh, um, uh, e-commerce very briefly at the very end, uh, but whether they're legal documents, goods, physical items, um, Ideas, yes, may pass digitally, but actual uh, people, items, and things will always have to uh, endure the, 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 the challenges of logistics, uh, whether or not technology aids or assists in, in that transfer is another question. I feel like the beginning of this debate entirely was focused on what was later said by Sefula as the digital generation. And that is to say the age of information without really discussing that one example we had before with a knife, whether or not uh, all of these kids, whether, you know, 41% as Rahat said, 41% of these kids have, ch uh, uh, these children have technology, but who purchases this technology mm -hmm. for the, for these kids and who oversees how much time they could use, who helps charge the devices, who pays for the electricity, who pays for the Wi-Fi service. Um, or any of those other things, it's the parents. And just as the parents are responsible for teaching a kid how to use or not use a knife properly, uh, a lot of that a lot of that responsibility falls to the parents and it falls as well to the teacher. Um, we, uh, what was it, uh, 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 mentioned uh, uh, that was the supervisional, I think in one of the replies we talked about, um, you know, who is going to be looking over some of the uh, information? Who's going to be making sure that it's not plagiarized or pirated? Mm -hmm. And I think that if we look to the past a little bit, it might help us uh, understand how to approach the future. Um, now, correct me if I'm wrong, but in Pakistan, much like in Central Asia, there is the Ustad Shagird uh, relationship, the master and the apprentice, the teacher and the student, yes? Is that how it's pronounced, I believe? Ustad and yeah. Shagirt? Yes, sir. It is. Ustad and Shagirt so, is something like, like Exactly. That. So while there might be tons of information out there, for example, uh, I'm, I, I myself, uh, I love the music of the Silk Road. Uh, for, in Pakistan, there's quality music, yes. especially that of uh, Nusrat al Fatih Khan, who uh, recently passed away, unfortunately. <laughs> May he rest in peace. But... His shagirds, they don't just try to copy his songs note for note, but they try to take the passion, the, the message of what he's saying, and oftentimes create new bodies of work. They're not just trying to plagiarize because everyone would know that they're just simply copying and pasting, to use a technical term. Uh, so it, it's, it's not um, behooven upon... A person who is trying to access information, to look at the sources, to check to see when they are published, by whom they are published, 
and by what credible sources, how recently are this information, we, we can then better ascertain the pros and cons of technology. In regards to the health aspects, yes, obesity and, and inactivity and lethargy, laziness, <laughs> can be a, uh, an aspect. But then again, we mentioned mobility, the, the opportunity to buy plane, train, and automobile tickets uh, over the phone. Um, e-commerce, while, while you mentioned that e-commerce, you might not always get what you receive, and the same thing holds true to the U.S., uh, slowly mm-hmm. but surely the quality does improve. And I think that... Uh, you know, while it was mentioned, I think someone said, uh, uh, Sufula, you mentioned 10% in India, 8% in Pakistan have access mm-hmm. to internet. Does that include access to Wi-Fi? Does that include access to uh, 3G, 4G, 5G smart telephones? Um, the, the One of the last points I, I, I almost uh, wanted to add in there was uh, that, that what Adan said about online banking. Um Mm-hmm. Uh, and I almost thought for a second that he said online dating, and I'm not sure how <laughs> popular this, this is in, in Pakistan. Um, but in the rest of the world, online dating has, I think, been um, a wonderful addition to uh, to social life, where you might not always be able to meet the person of your dreams at a tea house or a bookstore, mm-hmm. or just on the street. You might be shy to introduce yourself. I, I understand it might be more mm-hmm. traditional. It might be more family-based relations and introductions uh, in Pakistan. But I was blessed to meet my wife, Cindy, um, <laughs> over the internet. And I have no complaints about that whatsoever. <laughs> um, Whoa. And so, this is so uh, impressive. You know, with the with the with the with the birth of our firstborn son Boaz, uh, just five short months ago, uh, he is living proof that you know online dating definitely has a few pluses, and hopefully many more in store for me in the years to come. Uh, on the, uh, to, to bring it to one serious tip, we mentioned a lot about the digital age, uh, but failing to really see technology as a whole. And technology, you know, for the pot, for the goods and for the for the negatives, um, oftentimes they're created in 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 in, in efforts to to help humanity. But very quickly, we see innovations of these inventions that can hurt or draw advantage against our adversaries. And uh, while we talked about data, uh, current data, uh, 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 what is it? Data security. Uh, the recent uh, breach with Steve, uh, not Steve, uh, uh, the Bitcoin uh, and data breach with uh, Bill Gates. Um, cyber warfare moving forward in today's digitalized world with hospitals and financial markets and transportation systems uh, and everything you can imagine being all linked together. Uh, technologically, I think that cyber warfare is is something of grave concern that uh, that definitely merits more international diplomacy. Uh, as you may or may not know, uh, there is uh, the ongoing, uh, I, I guess you could say, debate, for lack of a better term, on whether or not there was interference in the last U.S. election uh, in 2016. Uh, foreign intervention uh, on behalf of Russia and also other actors, but mainly Russia, uh, in the 2016 election, and whether or not that interference may continue. Uh, this is not the only example. Other countries have interfered in other countries' affairs through digital means, uh, whether it's through Facebook, like we said, this great tool that has been able to connect us, has also been able to more sometimes divide us at the same time. And so with with every, I guess my final point is that whether we like it or not, tech is always gonna be here with us uh, as a part of humanity. It is the very thing that makes us human. Um, 
to deny our, our, our use of technology is to deny the very thing that makes us human. And, and with every two steps forward with the inventions, there may or may not be one step backward with its nefarious, negative innovation. And so it is always up to us to, uh, as individuals, as citizens, um, as global citizens now that are always interconnected through this great uh, uh, phenomenon that is, that is that is the World Wide Web, um, to be able to negotiate the values of tradition, of heritage, alongside the uh, uh, importance of information and freedom of movement. So whether or not it is goods, ideas, fruits, currencies, or online debates, uh, it is a discussion that is always worth having. And I am, uh, on that note, I would just like to say that I'm very, very pleased that to be a part all the way from Philadelphia to, uh, to Peshawar, that uh, we are able to hold this debate today in such a civilized manner. Uh, with with very sensitive topics that have extreme importance to each of our daily lives moving forward. And so with that being said, I would just like to say a big shukriya to everybody here. And I am always available um, because everyone's online all the time. Uh, Just be aware of the time difference. So just you can always contact me if you have any other questions or would you like to uh, discuss this further at any point. Sir, once again, I would like to say your lexes are just like seeds. You know, when we are going to fertile on our machinery, so these lexes are going to fluctuate into something very smarter. And of course, the legacy of words, the legacy of intellectuality, and the knowledge and the skill and the competency that you have delivered in your uh, lexes that is highly eligible for all of us and very soon of course, we are going to have more sessions with you. Like, I forgot to tell you one thing, like, respect is that Adam can speak Russian, Persian, even Turkish, and I forgot, even Persian. And uh, uh, Chinese, very, very Chinese and French. <laughs> and Chinese, too. And Chinese, yeah. too. So, obviously, maybe in future, maybe we are going to have a session with you, maybe in Chinese or maybe in Russian. Like, this University of Spoken English and Computer Science also offers German, Chinese, and Arabic languages too here, sir. Well, that that would be incredible. And and on one final note, as it is the University of Spoken English and Computer Science, the very name of the university represents the debate that we had here today, whether or not it's personally spoken or digitally expressed. I think represents both the pros and the cons and why it's important to be able to study both of these fields simultaneously. Yes. Once again, I would like to express my immense clausal and very gigantic pleasure uh, to have you, sir. And I would like to also express if there's uh, Dr. Teller is watching us, I would like to thank you, you know, sort of the respected Dr. Teller. I cannot thank you that much enough that you have provided respect to Sir Adam for us. Uh, once again, I would like to say, Dr. Teller, an immense gratitude from my side, from the University of Spoken in Computer Science. And very soon, we are going to hoping to see you in Pakistan whenever you are going to come. And definitely, you are going to invite you to this university and explore more about this University of Spoken in Computer Science. So thank you, everybody, for watching us, for bearing us. May Allah Azzawajal reward you. And may, may Allah uh, clemency upon prosperity, leniency and clemency, lots of blessings in your life and in your family's life. So thank you so much, sir, Adam. Like we are saying in Turkish, like, Evalla teşekkürat yorum. Sağolun. Teşekkür ederim. Teşekkür ederim. Teşekkür ederim. Teşekkür ederim. And um, I would just like to say, until uh, until the next time, sonu görüşürüz. Kandine back. Take uh, so, care. See you next time. Aferin. Son görüşürüz. Bilkül son görüşürüz. Pakistan gelseniz bile görüşürüz. Elbete, elbete dostum. Elbete dostum. So, thank you everybody for joining us. Allah Hafiz, goodbye, take care. See you, man Allah. Thank you so much, everyone. Khuda Hafiz. Khuda Hafiz, thank you. See you, man Allah.